What's going on guys? My name is ShadowGoon131 and we are back today with another episode of our Pokemon Moon Let's Play. And let's go ahead and start right off with a little team recap here. We do need to potion up Zeke. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, just a regular potion will work for now. We get so many new items, it's crazy. I kind of hate that. I kind of hate the new thing. So this a peculiar stone. Oh, it's an evolution stone. And then the amulet coin and hidden power. So we've cleared all of our new stuff. I know that the rest of the menu things still have new stuff on them, but I don't want to deal with those on screen anyways. So let's go ahead and jump into this team recap. We've got Zeke who joined the team in the last episode. He is rock type with Leer, Sand Attack, Bite, and Howl. Uh, he did take the place of Lardo, the young goose, so... That was suggested in an earlier comment, and I happened to agree with it. Figured he would probably fit on our team better than Lardo, since we've got Dr. Sleep down there. We don't need two normal types. Crabrawler is, is level 17, fighting type with Bubble Rock Smash, Bubble Beam, and Pursuit. He's holding the Phytinium Z, which we saw debut in the last episode. Pretty cool. Um... All Out Pummeling, I believe, is what it was called. Sparky, level 17, with Bug Bite, Spark, Mud Slap, and Bite. And he's holding the Scope Lens to try and boost his crits. Skippy's level 20, holding the Quick Claw, with Aqua Jet, Water Gun, Baby Doll, Eyes, and Disarming Voice. Nick is level 17, with Pound, Acid Spray, Disable, and Bite, holding the Soothe Belt because he doesn't really, we don't have any items that would help him out otherwise. And Dr. Sleep, level 16 with tackle metronome hold back in happy hour this is the mystery gift if you guys have not gotten your mystery gift munchlax make sure you guys do that before january sometime i can never remember exactly what day in january but beginning or mid january the munchlax event's going to go away it's kind of an early adopter thing so if you guys have the games and you've not gotten him yet he is via mystery gift via internet just go click that in the beginning um, and he will join your game just like in previous games. It's not a it's not a super new thing But he is holding up normal Liam Z so we can uh, make use of a couple different Z powers There on our team so far. So let's go ahead and go up this way. We are gonna take on this old guy here And let's see what he's got is he actually old he is actually old it could be Madame Elizabeth's husband gentleman Gerald Let's see what he's got. He's got a Sableye? Where are these people getting these Pokemon? Alright. Sableye is Ghost Dark? Ghost Dark. I think, um... I think Skippy's gonna be our best bet here because a Disarming Voice should hurt Sableye pretty good. I think. I think. And he's slow, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's see how much a disarming voice will do. Oh, dang, it's gonna one shot. Oh, that was a crit, too. Very nice. Good job, Skippy. My man coming through. Zeke got 400 XP points from that. And Sparky gains a level. That was easy. He gave us three grand. Holy crap. People in this are rich. Alright. Does this guy wanna battle? You'll find Brooklet Hill at the end of Route 5. That's where Captain Lana does her trial. Alright, so this must be Route 5. I'm one of the trial guides that's here to help out young trial goers on their island challenge. And my particular duty is to test just how strong they've become. Let's see if you can be all the trainers on Route 5 for starters. Oh, and there's Howl again. So let's take on these two. This should be a double battle, I think. There hasn't been many double battles yet. Is this this actually might be the first one? All right, so a Hapini and an Eggly buff, two little babies. Zeke and Crabrawler should be able to hold their own here. Cause Crabrawler can will sand attack the Eggly buff, and we will all out pummeling. So we want to save our Rock Smash. We don't have a ton of those left. And let's go ahead and do the Hapiti. I don't know if this, will, how much this is going to do or not, but it's worth a try. You got this, Crabrawler. Come on, you got this. You got this. That is such an awesome animation. That thing's got to get destroyed. Blown back. Perfect. 
perfect, perfect, perfect. I wasn't sure if that was gonna kill, actually. Zeke getting to level 15. He's growing right up. Rock throw. We probably definitely want rock throw to get some rock stab. Um, let's get rid of Howl. What does Howl do? Howl raises attack. Let's get rid of Leer, which lowers defense. Since this thing is modest, we'll take the, we'll keep the, what you call it, the raising attack. The Brawler's level 18 now. We should probably move him out of the second spot. So Dr. Sleep is starting to lag behind. He wants to learn Chip Away. Do we want Chip Away? Looking for an opening. The user strikes consistently. This target, The target's stat changes don't affect this attack's damage. Um, yes, we want Chip Away very much instead of Tackle, I think. Because it's way stronger. Let's go ahead and do that. That's actually a really good move. It's still normal type, so it's Stab. Super useful. Zeke's going to sand attack. She is going to pound Zeke, but it's not going to do anything. We don't even have to switch Zeke out of this battle, finally. Uh, and we'll just go for the rock throw there, and we'll have Crabrawler go for uh, Bubble Beam. And see if those two combined can't knock this thing out. Maybe not. Might take one more turn. Um, I don't know how much rock throw is going to do. Oh, that actually did a lot. It actually did a lot. Zeke's eating up the pound. Not very effective at all. We'll go ahead and uh, bite this time because Crabrawler is faster and a bubble should kill. I forgot that bubble hits both. We should have... No, the all-out pummeling is the way to go there. So we easily defeat the first double battle in this game. Not bad at all. I hope there's more because I think double battles are a lot of fun. Um... Yeah, I hope there's more. I hope that that's not such a rare occasion. So let's see um, who is how talking to. Ha ha ha, man, I lost again. Ooh, who's this guy? Are you even taking this seriously? I am, so seriously. I'm seriously enjoying it. Enjoying it? You can enjoy Pokemon battling when you put everything you have into it, which clearly you haven't. <laughs> what a douche. Whoa, hey, Shadow. This guy is plenty scary. Your Shadow? Yep, that's me. <laughs> Not very cautious. Even some Pokemon have a better sense of self-preservation than you apparently do. I'm Gladian. I battle for my partner, Null, to make it strong. Oh, God. But most of our time gets used up doing small jobs for Team Skull. Battle me. I won't take no for an answer. Oh, I got a itch. That was like a super strong itch uh, right on my shoulder, you guys. I hate that. I hate that. All right. Team Skull Gladion. He's got a Zubat. Zubat should be weak to our Rock-type move, right? I believe he should. He's level 17, though. Let's see how much it does. We can live that. We can actually start to eat that up. And of course, we're going to miss. We'll go for one more, and then we'll have to switch out. Hopefully, he doesn't crit us. Yes, that did us so much. Good job, Rock Ruff. We'll go ahead and switch out into... Who will we switch out into? We'll switch out to Sparky. That sounds good to me. Sparky is not seen the screen time in a little while bite does nothing we'll go ahead and spark the zubat wing attack that's actually gonna hurt that's actually gonna hurt good job sparky way to go zeke only gained 187 from that send in type no you guys type no is freaking scary we're gonna put zeke out there just to get him the XP. Um, hopefully we're able to switch out right away, otherwise Zeke's gonna go down and that'll be a waste, but this should be some good XP. Type no, look at that thing. You guys, I don't know what that thing is, if it's like, if it's uh, some kind of... Oh, he pursuits! Oh, poor Zeke, poor Zeke. We might have to revive there because that is going to be really good XP, you guys. 
That is really going to be good XP for him. So I think we're going to go ahead and use Revive here. Your Munchlax should be able to live a hit while we do this. Um, but like, there's theories that he's like tied to Arceus, there's all that kind of stuff. I don't know, you guys. All I know is he's kind of intimidating. He's actually really intimidating. He's like part robot or something, like in metal. That just did 25. So let's see how much Chip Away does. He's gonna go for a tackle here. I don't know what type this guy is at all. Chip Away should hurt though, coming from a Munchlax. Oh my god, that does nothing. All right. Um, I don't know what we've got for this thing. Let's uh, let's switch out and see if Skippy can take a whack at it. Maybe a disarming voice? I don't know if we should go for a disarming voice or a water gun. I don't know what type type null is. I would guess normal type. Uh, so maybe we switch out to Core Brawler next. I just want to see if a disarming voice does anything. It's only got tackle. It's got like tackle. It's got pursuit though. That's the kind of a weird one. I don't know what type it's going to be. Disarming voice did nothing. Let's switch out to... I do apologize for my phone, you guys. Let's switch out to Crabrawler. Rock Smash is low on PP, but this should do a good amount, I think. This should do a good amount. And we're spreading the XP around. I mean, we got the EXP share anyways. But we should be able to Rock Smash this thing. Oh, I should have Z-moved. We'll find out if it's super effective. And then we'll Potion up and then we'll Z-move. It is super effective. And we lower the defense. So, we do need to potion up, because Cabrawler is going to be the way to go here. So, let's go ahead and use a super potion. Everybody's so weak after this battle. Everybody's very frail. Alright, so we're going to take that tackle, no problem. And then we're going to use our Z-move, just in case. Uh, just in case a Rock Smash would not have taken him out. This should definitely take him out, no problem. This should definitely take him out. All out pummeling. You got this, Cabrera. Take this thing down. He's dead. He's got to be dead. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if we're able to catch this thing. Or if he's just like that kind of event. We only got, we did not get that much. Well, Zeke did. Zeke got 400, which is good. And Nick even gains a level out of it as well. He wants to learn Poison Fang, which we probably do want. Does 50. Acid Spray does 40, and it's special. I think I'm gonna get rid of Acid Spray. This may also leave the target badly poisoned. We're gonna forget. Oh yeah, I like the looks of that. Poison thing. Badly poisoned is better than just poisoned as well, which is super cool. Alright. So, we're done with that guy. He's so angsty. It's not like me to slip up like that. I've gotta keep fighting stronger opponents. Looks like I'm still not ready. What? That kid there, his Pokemon aren't weak. And sure, it's fine to enjoy battling, but this brat, he's just using that as an excuse not to try hard because he can't beat the Kahuna. Because he can't beat Hollow when he's serious. You know my Gramps? Wait, so you think I'm strong? Oh, look at you, little Gladian. Aren't you just a real cool guy? <laughs> oh my god, they are freaking hilarious. I guess it's no surprise to a homeless kid would turn out spineless too, huh? No worries, we got a ba enough backbone to cover for you. Just give it up already. Huh? You know you can't beat me. You'll just get your Pokemon hurt for no reason. They're good Pokemon. We came all this way and for what? For a big fat waste of our time, thanks to you. If you hadn't gotten in our way, we could have stolen the to totem Pokemon from Brooklet Hill. Let's get out of here. Look, the Murkrow are crying and it's time we should be flying. Listen up good, Gladian. The boss doesn't like you. That's true. But you're just some hired help we keep around for when we need you. You aren't a part of Team Skull, not really. And you never will be. Got it? You better get it. 
Who is this guy? I bet he's like the boss's kid or something. There's got to be some kind of twist to it. Thanks, Shadow, and Rock Rough 2. It was a good battle. Looks like i got to train up my team if I'm going to take on the trial at Brooklet Hill next. Here, Shadow, take these with you. Three revives. <laughs> I was passing out the revives like candy. All right. So, oh, is this another double battle? I spoke too soon. I just want to. I just want to get to that Pokemon Center. Everybody's so weak. All right, Rising Star, Lauren's Rising Stars, Lauren and Justin. We got a Vullaby and a Ruffler. It looks like we're getting a little bit of lag there at the start of the double battle, which is kind of annoying. Might be because we're playing on a 2DS. Um, I would have to guess. Look at the frame rate; is just like abysmal. Is that like that? That's crazy. All right, Rock Throw should hurt both of them. And Rock Smash, I'm gonna do all out pummeling actually. We're gonna all out pummel the Vullaby. The frame rate in that double battle is crazy bad. I did not notice that in the first one. Hopefully, um, hopefully they're not all like that. And it's gotta be just because of the, because it's a 2DS, because it's old. It's like even this looks better than when that first double battle started. That's crazy. Alright, so that actually did not. I mean, that did only half. The frame rate is garbage right now. Holy crap. Alright. So you're gonna lower Rock Ruff's defense. That is not cool. We'll go out to Nick because Nick is fully health fully healthy. All right, so we're going to rock throw the Vullaby, and we're going to poison fang the Rufflet. We connect that time. It is super effective. Oh, it lives, though. It's going to go for Pluck on Nick, which does a lot more than I thought it would. He's just getting beat up. All right, we do get the poison, though, which is super nice. Alright, so Zeke is going to rock throw the rough. No, 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 no. Not the Nick. You're going to rock throw the rufflet, and Nick, you are going to poison fang the Vullaby. Zeke use rock throw. Of course we miss. A few home claws. That just raises him. Okay. I was going to say, that would kill Nick. We're going to get rid of the Vullaby. Zeke's going to gain some XP. Nick's going to gain some XP. Rufflet's going to take some more poison damage. Alright, Zeke. you got to come through here. you got to save Nick. you got to save him. That might kill. That might kill. That might kill. Perfect. Awesome. Good job, you guys. Very nice. Zeke almost gains another level out of it as well. Alright, 1600 bucks from the two of them. Not very bad at all. We'll go ahead and make our way up to the Pokemon Center. Heal up. I don't think we'll buy any coffee this time since we just bought some. They're really, I mean, we could buy some more potions again, actually. But I think we'll be okay. We got the revives if we need them. Does anybody want to give us anything, though? I have Bound Sweet. The Pokemon is perfect for Brooklet Hill. If you'd like, please trade it for your Lillipup. I don't think we have a Lillipup, did we? We did not catch a Lillipup. So, Bound Sweet is grass type, so this must be water type. We got Grubbin. I think we'll be okay. Brooklet Hill is filled with water type. It wouldn't be a bad idea to have some grass type and grass type moves. Excuse me, could I ask you something? You see, I'm doing a study about the effects. I'm currently surveying whether a Pokemon called Phoebus can be found living there. So he needs us to catch a Phoebus. 
which actually wouldn't be bad because then we could get ourselves a melodic. This guy's a fishing pole. The totem Pokemon, they have fearsome defenses. Yes, they do. Perhaps you might use this to your advantage. Another dire hit. Okay. I think we might have to use a dire hit, you guys, if things don't go our way in this trial. I think we had to beat everybody on this route first. There might be another person or two in here, possibly. There's a wild grubbin, which we don't care about. We did heal up, right? We should be fully healed. Alright, so we'll go ahead and run away from that. So we don't care about that. Yeah, there's a battler. There's another battle. Alright. She's got two. She's got a more low. Which looks to be some sort of mushroom. Probably grass type or maybe ground type. Let's see if rock throw would not be very effective. It. Well, it actually did a good amount though. Flash is what going to lower our accuracy. Let's see if a bite does more. Oh yeah, it lowered our accuracy. I was like, how did we miss that? Moonlight's going to heal it. Oh my god, that's annoying. I fully healed it. Alright, we're going to have to switch out because, like, I love lowering people's accuracy, but when it happens to me, I get pretty, pretty upset. So, what do we have for this thing? Bug, that's what we have. That'll be the play. Alright. Mega Drain shouldn't do very much at all. But a bug bite should hurt. Perfect. Oh, and of course we get poisoned because of it. Very nice. Oh, but I forgot. We can just... Um, Pokemon Refresh. That is so, so, so awesome. Alright, we'll go ahead and bug bite. That should kill. Goodbye, Morlo. Let's see what other things this thing's got. Zeke is level 17, so that took no time at all to catch him up. Very nice. Lediba. We'll just keep on battling. I don't know. Lediba is probably bug type, right? Probably not grass type. But electric. It's weak to electric. Super weak to electric. Very nice. Good job, Grubbin. We are going to go ahead and care. Sparky grows to level 19. We are moving right along. He wants to learn acrobatics. That is a strange move for Sparky to learn. I don't think we're going to learn acrobatics, not on Sparky. I'm pretty sure we have that TM too, so it's not if we change our mind, we can we can change our mind. But hopefully this brings up Grubbin so he can heal up his poisoning. Awesome. This is just so cool to me. Heal it away. Sorry, Grubbin. Sorry you had to get poisoned, little guy. Give you some poke beans for your trouble. Awesome. Alright. Here. You wanna eat? It's so cute. I love it. Oh, cool. I think that means... So that's what I was talking about, you guys. When it does, like, the super happy hearts. I'm pretty sure that means that it's going to like it's going to get some kind of effect whether it it gets more crits or it uh, gets more XP. I'm not sure if there's like certain certain ones or whatever or if they all do the same thing. Um, back out of that. Okay, I was like I didn't I didn't know why that wasn't backing out, but all right, so we beat her. Looks like there's just some more items in here. And more tall grass, of course. A wild grubbin appeared. We do not care about a wild grubbin. 
I'm surprised. Oh no, Zeke is fast. He was just low level. Cause Zeke is pretty. Zeke does have a pretty good speed stat. I guess we should maybe get on stout one and see if there's anything good around here. Oh, there is. Is it in the grass? It's probably down there in the grass. Or maybe over here. Yeah, it's down there. Okay. Oh, there's an TM. TM41 Torment. Probably never use. Alright, let's see if we can find this item. We can't find the item, but we can find a wild Pokemon. They're all Grubbins, you guys. And it is daytime, and it's currently nighttime while I'm filming this. So, I think I saw somewhere that that's what the differences are. Somebody told me, um, like, sun plays normally, moon is like 12 hours off. Star piece, I'm pretty sure, sells for a good amount. I'm pretty sure that's all that is for, so that's nice. Always nice to get some more money. There's a pick a peck. We, we have a pick a peck, don't we? I'm pretty sure we do. We don't. The thing is level 16. If that didn't kill, I would have caught it. I was not expecting him to one shot. But that's okay. I just, I love to have a flying type on my team. I don't know why, I always have. Alright, so there's nothing up there. What does he say yet? Alright, he just still says the same thing. Is that, is there, is there anybody else we've got to fight still? Is there any items over here? Doesn't look like it. She probably wants to battle. Oh, no. She does not. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a TM back there. Very interesting. Another Lillipup. Don't care about you, Lillipup. Rockruff is far superior. Far superior. These wild Pokemon are matching our level, though. That's kind of scary, you guys. Makes me a little nervous. Charge Beam. That sounds like a TM for Grubbin. What do we got here? Anything? Just another pick a peck. Alright, let's try again. So that would be, if it's level, I mean, if it's level 16, it's level 14. That's a nice Pokemon to have in the PC, but Zeke is probably going to kill it. Yeah, if we killed a level 16 or whatever it was, there was no way that guy was living that. Dr. Sleep goes to level 18. Alright, so I think we gotta get off Stoutland here to squeeze past this girl. Wrong button. Alright. Looks like he's probably gonna wanna battle, and then it looks like looks like we're not gonna get to the trial in this episode, but that it will be pretty much all the next episode contains if I had to guess. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss it because it's probably going to be pretty exciting the trials have been super cool so far i mean we've only done the one but it's just i, I love the concept it's a fresh concept it's just really cool zeke is landing these rock throws pretty good for them being um whatever you call it 90 percent accuracy i always feel like 90 percent accuracy moves feel like they have like 30 percent accuracy so it's nice um, that we've been able to land pretty decently our rock throw. Zeke is going to gain some more experience. He is paralyzed, but we're going to keep battling here against the spinner rack. Hopefully, we are able to possibly one-shot this thing with a rock throw. It does have nightshade. What does nightshade do? Oh, it's just a damaging move. Okay. Good job, Zeke. Oh, he lives. Okay, but a bite should kill. Bite should kill no problem. He's got infestation, which will sap our health a little bit. Awesome. Okay. So that should be that. For Brawler's level 19. Alright. I think we should be in pretty good shape for this trial, though. Level well, Wild Pokemon are like 
between 14 to 19. Get these berries. Excuse me, guys. I really like the way the berry system works in these games, though. Um, that they're all just kind of random. And that they, you don't have to shake the tree and only get one or however many. It's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and we'll heal up. And then we'll be all ready to take on, hopefully, the trial at the start of the next gym. And see what Lana's got up her sleeve for us. I'm kind of nervous, you guys. Uh, but I think our team is in is in pretty good shape. We're not like we're not super set up for water um, We are super not set up for water, but we've got Brion who should be able to live water hits We've got Grubbin who should be able to put in some good work against the water types Even rock rough with sand attack is probably going to be useful if I had to guess but if you guys are enjoying this series and are excited to see what happens next, make sure you guys like this video and subscribe so you don't miss the next trial. Um, I think there's three on this island, so um, I'm not sure how quick they'll come, if there's a lot of stuff in between them or not. Uh, but hopefully they come pretty quick. So the next few episodes should be pretty exciting. Um, but that's going to go ahead and do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.